Hey, what's going on fam? Welcome back to the FOMO channel. I am Mr. FOMO himself and happy Friday to everybody. I know the Friday is one of those days of the week that we just love and can't wait to get home. I hope some of you are watching this from your office because I am that special. <laughs> that being said, guys, hey, welcome to the channel. And those who are new, thank you for stopping by. Um, please, if we're going to be talking about BST Fury today. And I want to tell you what I'm up to anyway regarding this. But just before we do that, guys, smash the sub button. We're so close to 1,000. Um, smash it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> I don't know. That was the best I could do, by the way. Um, also, take the time to hit the notification bell as well. We are heading to 1,000 and some exciting things coming up. We have a partnership with a few brands as well. Um, managed to get, finally starting to get the partnerships, and that's what I was after for the community. So smash that all up, guys. And don't forget to hit that follow button on Twitter if you are on Twitter. Um, that being said, let's jump into it. Um, so I've been jumping into this one here. This is by the same guys who did um, B and B Fury, and then there was loads of copycats around. So many actually. I mean, each to their own. You know, I jumped into B and B Flame, and that was just the stupidest decision. One of my stupid decisions I made. Um, overall, though, this one here has been pretty healthy. Uh, the, of course, the contract balance has been going down as you expected to do, but then it jumped up a little bit, then it started going down again. But overall, it's been pretty healthy, and I'm actually I'm actually quite happy with that because I've been drawing out. So one of the lessons I did learn from doing the other ones is always take your profits in these things. You never know how long these are going to last, so you have to constantly take your profits. Um, don't always, always, sorry, always, always, always do your own research. Um, these things are financial decisions. I'm not a financial advisor, so please, please understand the mechanics behind it. Understand how all of this works. If you understand all of this, then then you shouldn't shouldn't even have an issue. Um, I, I think this one still got a bit of legs in it. I did check the contract address. I checked it yesterday. I checked it today, and there's the contract address right there. Um, it's still got quite a bit of legs in it, and. If you're constantly drawing out and bunnies, every time you draw out, you just have to remember money is going back into this as well. And there's 20473 in the insurance pool as well. So this could go a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, I've been drawing money out every single day. I, I just wait till it hits $10. I only put 100 into it. So that's what I wanted uh, to afford. After my BNB, straight up 3 BNB and my all up 7.5 BNB loss to the other one, which is BNB hold. Nothing to do with these guys. Um, the good thing about these guys here is they've been able to talk to me and they said, look, straight up, this is exactly what it is. You know, you get in early and you keep staking it. And once once the money goes back in, of course, it goes that little bit further with everyone else as well. And it's done really, really well for me. That's all I can say about this one here. I mean, I don't I don't know about everybody else, um, but it has done really, really well for me. It does have that Hayes crypto audit as well. Look, guys, you know, like it's more the case of me reading this. This first line is really important where I got I got done in by being behold. So the B, BUSD Fury smart contract was found with no vulnerabilities, no backdoors, no scam scripts, which is really important. And the second thing I look for, guys, is this bit here. The system is used is called ROI must be considered as high risk. You need to understand that, yeah? If you understand that, you understand everything else. The investor's fee is 15%. That's the next thing you need to understand. All dividends are calculated at the moment of request and available for withdrawal every four times a day, every six hours. And sometimes I miss it because I'm sleeping, but when I wake up, God, do I take my profit, yeah? It's really, really important that you do take your profit. Um each subsequent deposit is kept separately, so it's a different contract each time. Yeah, each time you deposit, it's a different contract. Um, these are all the contracts up there. They have twenty-four plans, which is quite crazy. Um, I actually, myself, I actually, I actually um, put quite. I I did a long contract. I think it was. Yeah, my contract's really really long. I, I should, let's show you the history of my contract. Uh, yeah, it's twenty. <laughs> It's 30 days, you know, I've got 27 I've got 27 days to go. So I went balls deep in this one, guys. So there may be a chance I might not get it all back, yeah? Um, but if you're a smart investor, you probably do the shorter version of it, you know? And yeah, so they've, they've tried to have the max claim to 2,500 BNB as well. If someone does that, then great, good for them, you know? But overall, um, 
Look, with the BNB Fury guys, I'm actually quite happy with them. I made the mistake of being super greedy the first time around, so I only have myself to blame. I should have walked away with the profits and the excess profits while I could have, and I didn't. You know, I can't blame other people for that, you know. I can't say this and that, you know. BNB holds a totally different story where I'm just pissed off that they, you know, that it went the way it did. Um, a few others as well along the way. Look, you know, there's others where I've lost money that I don't even talk about. So, yeah, so that's where it's at. But this is one of the good ones, I believe. Um... I mean, obviously, you need to understand what you're getting into, guys. You need to understand exactly how these work, yeah? And always, always, always keep a big eye on this one here, yeah? This is, to me, is the number one thing, yeah? Oh, it went up. Great. Yay. So that means more money going back in. So, yeah, keeping an eye on that is really, really important, yeah? So please do that as well, guys. I mean, none of, all of these are super high-risk investments, guys. So please, please, please consider taking them into consideration. Again, I am not an investment uh, advisor. These are my investment journeys on what I put money into and how I'm willing to FOMO into it and take some big-ass risks because that's who I am. Yeah, not everyone should run into these with me. Not everyone should do the same things I do. So please take your time to consider that as well. However, that being said, like these guys here, I'm pretty comfortable with them, um, and, and they seem pretty genuinely nice as well, you know. And they really want people to make money. So I guess they make their money anyway. So it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah. Um, I see I see lots of comments as well about many different things, um, but I won't go into that today so much. But one day I will address some of the comments that I've highlighted some comments and I've put them aside, I've copied and pasted them, and put them on a spreadsheet. And I will spend one time doing a video on highlighting them. And it's 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 more the like, more the, the thing that I come across a lot, guys, in these projects. Yeah, and these kind of projects is a lack of understanding of exactly what it is. Yeah. You, you really need to understand what you're getting into and how it will work, yeah? If you can do that, then you're going to make a ton of money, yeah? If you if you can do that, you will make a ton of money. But just understand, for there to be winners, there's always losers, yeah? You need to understand that part as well. And it is your money, guys. You know, really do the due diligence, yeah, before you jump into these kind of things. I mean, I'm, it's just... Yeah, it just baffles me when people are like that, you know. It really does baffle me. But that being said, guys, so so I'm in this play at the moment. I'm not in any other BSG play at the moment. Um, I'm down on my AVEX plays as well. I'm, I'm starting to get rid of them. I've got only got two great AVEX plays. AVEX savings being one of them. I really like that one. And also um, the AVEX staking, which is quite good as well. If you have any questions, guys, please drop them down in the comments as well. And... If you have not hit the sub button, guys, please hit the sub button. We're on a goal there. We're so close to it. Um, yeah, I just seem to have stalled a little bit. But, hey, let's go. Every day is an exciting day. The next video is a real perler for you guys. It's about the BN. It's actually about baked beans. It's the one you've been waiting for. Your last chance to get on the whitelist. It's coming soon, so please stay tuned. But in the meantime, guys, have a fantastic Friday ahead. Peace.